Is that how you do it? Is that how one reacts to reaction videos? I also have to comment on the fact that this video is sponsored by Grammarly <laughs> and they got my name wrong. Today I'm gonna be reacting to PewDiePie reacting to a Jubilee video that I was in. That makes sense. I haven't seen his video yet. I'm very nervous about it. I feel like the internet didn't really enjoy me in this video, which is fine because people who I know and respect in real life like thought that they would react the same way, which I always think is really interesting. Um, but I guess let's do this. Okay. Strangers rank their intelligence. Oh boy. For context, I don't watch PewDiePie videos. As someone black and ethnically Jewish and misogyny affected, I've had a really hard time kind of getting over the COD lobby rhetoric. I think that occurs in some of these videos. That's not to say that I think he's a bad person. I think he was definitely vilified by the media. I just am not someone who engages with PewDiePie's content very often. So even this feels like a lot for me. Okay, we're 18 seconds in. Okay, okay. I wasn't planning to go to college. That wasn't like a goal of mine. My parents were like, well, you should apply to at least one college. And I was like, we'll never get in here. And then I went to Yale. <laughs> okay, I think this is really funny. Cause I think a lot of strangers on the internet are like, there's no way that she only applied to Yale. I, I only applied to Yale. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. I was definitely really academically inclined. My parents are really smart, but I didn't plan to go to college. I was planning to move in with my boyfriend. Oh God and be a lifeguard and a paramedic and go to community college to be a doctor like sometime in the future. My parents were like, you got to apply to a school and I was like, I'll apply to Yale. Um, Yale was like my dream school. I just didn't think I was ever going to get in. We brought six people together to rank themselves based on perceived intelligence. But do they do an IQ test afterwards? That's what I need to know, right? We do Let's an see IQ how test. they think and then what they really are. Oh, please do that. Oh, that'd be amazing. Please, God. I can't wait to talk about this IQ test, though. Yes! Oh, I'm so excited. <laughs> well done, you, Billy. To be honest, I can't do a test in front of other people. I gotta do it alone. And if I don't like the result, I'll just redo it. I would argue that I think two people did not take this test accurately. I don't want to say who, but I definitely saw someone looking at screens and I think someone took the test in advance. And when I get there, I'll show you which IQ test it was, uh, which I think says a lot about kind of our reactions to IQ tests in general. But you do your IQ test on Facebook and think you're a brainiac. Shut up. Mm, not okay. wrong. Just like go down and do intros. Oh, yeah. this is I'm so shy. interesting. I'm 24. I work in finance. I have a bachelor's degree. I uh, went to Yale. I'm Tyler. I'm 21. I don't work in finance I'm anymore. Important note, they spelled my name S-A-D-A, -A, which is really interesting because that's not my name. And I filled out tons of paperwork. They said my name wrong on the shoot and I corrected them. It feels a little racially weird. And it's also funny that this video is sponsored by Grammarly. And I work in the Marine Corps. I'm Kaylee. Um, I'm 25. I'm a software developer. I went to Ohio University and I have a bachelor's degree. I don't know how to judge these people. The only way I would have judged her is her is that she, she's, well, now we know. Are blondes <laughs> dumb? All right, let's find out. Are military people dumb? I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> Because everyone knows if there's one dumb person, then they're all dumb. I'm 30 years old. I have my PhD in cancer biology and I work in a biotech industry. Grad school, I went to University of South Carolina and undergrad, I went to University of Florida. Hi everybody, my name is Sean. I'm 27. I'm the director of social media for a company and I also work for a digital ad agency. I got a double major in dance and cultural anthropology. Undergrad, I went to Loyola Marymount University. I graduated with a bachelor's degree in Harvard recently. I work in consulting. Oh, I know your babies. I know, that's what I'm saying is Okay, I'll go. I think he went to Harvard. Harvard, smart, big brain, and he looks calm and composed. I'm gonna guess Sean is the least smart, oh. and then I don't know about the rest. That's all. I want to like say something before we jump to this. I actually didn't dislike anybody on the shoot, despite what people think. I thought that certain people were definitely more in tune with others. And it's interesting to film Jubilee videos because most people are there for some form of like self-promotion. And I think that was really apparent on this shoot, which I think led to people being like less open and honest. And I'm someone who has very little filter, um, as we can tell from this video. 
And I think that was hard to like be in a room where I'm like, oh, like you obviously want to say more, but you're really, really concerned about the cameras in the room. That was like a really hard element of this shoot in particular. This is such a funny video to watch because the room was so awkward. Um, it was really quiet and people weren't talking. They have a lot of quotes and like sound bites from me because I feel like I led a lot of the conversation, which I don't think is a bad thing. But like when we were doing our post interviews, a lot of people were like, oh yeah, like Sade was the ringleader. And I didn't appreciate that. And that very much wasn't how I had planned to go into the video. I had kind of come in trying to be more quiet. It's just that no one else was speaking. Like, not at all. Good to identify what intelligence means to everybody. I think intelligence is better defined as your adaptability and your problem solving skills. More <laughs> Bruh, we ain't, we ain't in the unit right now. What are you on about? That, maybe, <laughs> that's interesting that people have different perceptions. So what is the most essential? So the most essential thing was probably be common sense. I want to comment also on like the audio. I think that the editing is kind of unfair to Tyler um, with the music. I think the music makes him out to be less intelligent than I think he actually was. Like the kind of awkward -y background noise and I don't think that was fair. But I do think that they were trying to highlight that there were just a lot of really awkward moments. Um, it's interesting to see how much they cut out here. I think they tried to obviously write a narrative story arc with this video, which isn't exactly how it played out for me in real life. Um, but obviously they're trying to tell a story. I also think that one thing they cut out early that I think was really not great to cut out was we all gave our pronouns and many of us use not the pronouns that people would associate with us off the bat. And I'm pretty disheartened that they A, cut that out and B, cut out that conversation because I think that was really informative on my intelligence rankings. Yeah, so for me personally, I think intelligence is both EQ, IQ, and that common sense, street smart intelligence, all of that combined. Hmm, interesting. All of it combined. Yeah. That's a good point though. This is really interesting. So EQ and IQ are like pretty commonly associated with levels of intelligence. IQ has been known to be kind of this like racist, outdated test that doesn't mean a lot. And I'll talk about that more when we get to the actual test that we took. Um, but a big part of what we were doing on set was like coming up with a working definition of intelligence that we were going to use, which I think was very interesting as well. People consciously or unconsciously, when they see my someone, face is so bad in this video. Immediately, like I'm sure we all did right away. When I saw, I didn't. <laughs> Shh. Okay, maybe I did. I told myself, Maria, do not it's judge him one. just yeah. by his looks. He could be throwing you off, or that's just who he is. But he can talk to talk and walk. No, he's talk. done. Sean, he's done. I didn't, I didn't think Sean was done. The he looks or I'm joking, or by the way. So I was like, I thought Sean was really smart, and I also made a comment that was cut about how Sean was really smart in his presentation in this video, and Sean presented the way that I would have wanted to present in terms of being quiet and humble. I just don't have a filter. I know I'm not, you know, from Yale. I don't have a PhD. I think it would have been really cool to see without that element of university. Um, I think that would have made things very different. And I wish I had like been able to see this experiment without people hearing about what colleges we went to. To still problem solve and use my own skill set, my emotional intelligence as well as my social intelligence. Besides my education. Bro, they all did the tests, right? They should know how we well did the they did after. or not. No. Huh? Right? You get an idea, no. okay, I got stuck Wrong. in a couple or... No. Right? Why are they, we do it after. they making a case for themselves? All right, there Software we go. developer. Wait, this is another important point because it wasn't until the very end that she said that she was a software developer. And when they said that, I actually revised my ranking. I had ranked myself three and I bumped myself to four and bumped her over me, which I think was the correct choice. My first job out of college, I was working at a law firm. Gentleman came up to me and said, Hi, um, you don't look like somebody that would work at a law firm. You look like somebody I'd go on spring break with. How dare you? I get, I get those comments are annoying. But at the same time, yeah, you sign out. So what? <laughs> okay, I didn't like that comment. I thought that was really misogynistic because I think that even in like responses to this video, the way people talked about us and intelligence is pretty heavily based in sexism. And I think that people's intelligence is perceived through a lot of social lenses. And I don't like discrediting the fact that oftentimes women or misogyny affected people are seen as dumber just because of 
the way we are in the world. I also think that Kaylee was very quiet on this shoot and I wish that she had talked more. I think that would have been really helpful in terms of ranking her and I think towards the end a bunch of us were like, oh shit, like you should have, you should have talked more. That would have been helpful. I've got the least formal education. I consider myself intelligent. That's the worst thing someone said about you, about your intelligence. Oh boy, <laughs> don't make you to videos. <laughs> <laughs> Be nice to me. <laughs> my mental <laughs> dedication and my ability to adapt. See, like this music change is kind of up, I, do I in think. The Marine Corps, I'm a cyber and defense specialist. So I think that by virtue of what I do, that already requires some amount of intelligence. Sorry, quick question. So do you think that only certain people can do your job or do you think anyone can do your job? Uh, why don't, why don't you ask the question directly instead of asking him, huh? You, that's what you think, bitch. <laughs> Come on. Anyone can be a Marine. <laughs> Idiot, since they're all dumb bunkaroomies. Only certain people. Uh, you have to take the ASVAB before you go into the military. That's uh, not really how much you know, but how well you can learn information. And I got a 94 on that. It's not an amount of how much you study, how much you know. You're not gonna really get better at learning. Oh. Does that make the follow up to this, I think, was very interesting to me. Um, the person was like, oh yeah, like I know about that, like tactile versus like sight. And I was like, no, like growth first fixed mindset. Like these are kind of more like management, consulting, learning, education terms. Um, I think that was really informative. I also didn't mention that like a lot of what's in the video is like very pared down. My like most of my decision making in terms of ranking, I think wasn't included. So I think the pronouns discussion was really big. I think the follow up to that moment right there about learning was really important and we also discussed the trolley problem in great detail they asked us to bring a question for the group and i was the only one to do that and i was like oh like how do you guys think through the trolley problem and that was very informative for me kind of on directional thinking i don't really care about your answer to the trolley problem i cared about like moral consistency and being able to do reasoning and the fact that that was all cut out, I think is very interesting. Okay. You don't get better at learning. The idea that you can get better at learning is a pretty big signifier of intelligence. I'm very much dyslexic. I have ADHD. You, you can definitely get better at learning. Yeah, for sure. You train your mind, bro. Come on, everyone knows this. And I'm on the autism spectrum. Dyslexia means that there's a big gap in comprehension. I didn't say this. Let me talk about this. I didn't say that. I said that there's multiple ways that dyslexia is diagnosed now. And when I was young, I wasn't diagnosed because I was a really good reader. But as I progressed in life, dyslexia diagnosis criteria has shifted. So now you can be diagnosed when you have a really big gap in certain comprehensions. I just think the editing here like makes me wary. So I was scoring 99th My name percentile is still in certain areas and like third percentile in others. I'll never be able to learn another language. I took Spanish for 12 years and I can still basically only order a burrito. So I have a question. Why did you go to Yale and why did you go to Harvard? My parents are immigrants from China and I'm a first generation immigrant as well. And they got a really interesting group. I like this. I like this group Thank of you, Pie. Uh Yeah, uh, red pants girl, dumb. Oh. And the rest are fine. I was really interesting. I actually really liked Maria on the shoot. She was my favorite person to interact with. I think she was the most engaging and I think that she got a really bad edit. Thank <laughs> each other from one to six, including yourself, and give reasons why you want to do what you're doing. I gotta go one. No. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. Two, three. No way. Four, five, six. No, they rank him less? I don't think he's dumb. I don't think he was dumb either. Like, I think this is a really common misconception about these videos. There's six people. Someone, someone's gotta be last. <laughs> I don't think he was dumb. I just didn't think that like the critical reasoning that I was seeing from the other people was there. And like the level of engagement with the group, I think was a little bit off. Obviously there are like a lot of prejudices that play into that, right? Like I discussed that later in the video. I think like Sean describes it really well coming up. I really I don't. rank you as a six, not meaning that you're not intelligent. I also think that I- No, you do, you do. Don't backtrack That's this. That's not true. Get That's so rude. That's exactly, you can't just do <laughs> Don't place All a lot right. of value on the military. <laughs> what? Oh. I, I love your girl's reaction to this comment. <laughs> Period. <laughs> no, that, yeah, full stop, full stop. Sure, get your, get your fucking views in there. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay, I think this comment actually is like pretty mundane as someone who's trained to be a social worker and like works in that field a lot. 
I don't think I value the military as a gauge of intelligence. And I think that's really legitimate. I think people are making this out to be a really big like gotcha moment, like you don't care about our troops, which is just like so weird to me in the context of this video, especially when you can hear the cut. I don't value the military as a gauge of your intelligence, but I don't value any career as a gauge of your intelligence, which a lot of us talked about on the shoot as well. Like a lot of us talked about our industries and how it didn't mean that we were smart. And I think that relying on your career credential in this way as a gauge of intelligence is just automatically incorrect. I'd probably do one, two. I didn't like getting ranked one. Three, I didn't think that was correct. Four. Five, six. I'm sorry. I'm the no villain way. This episode. Okay, this comment was also very weird. So at this point, he goes, I'm the villain in this episode. And we all went, No, you're not. And they cut all of that out. Like, it felt a little icky to me. And it felt very narrative building. I also think that all of us ranking pretty similarly shows something about what was in the room and not on camera. I trust Ray's opinion. Does anyone think they're like either end? I'd say I'm one, if nothing else, because I know I appreciated that. that. Let's go, Tyler. You're my number Wait, one man. you guys have to rank everyone, too. That is so unfair. <laughs> no, 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 no. I would say one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. That was reasonable. I think one, two, three, four, Oh, this five, is going to be so good. Oh. I'm sorry. Why do they it's all rank hard. him lowest? Why? Why? Just because he's in the military? So like, this is so interesting uh, to me because the fact that we're all ranking him this low shows that something happened in the room that maybe you guys aren't seeing on camera. I'm just going to leave that there. One, two, three. Oh, I can't wait for the result. I hope four, it's juicy. Five, six. One, oh my God, everyone. parents, first generation going to college, humble, modest. To me, I don't know. PhD, <laughs> cancer biology oh. scientist. Oh. I work. Oh, that was God. a rough line. I mean, <laughs> you're going last. <laughs> and a biotech company. That was a rough line. I, I will admit. Oh. Stuff like oh, wow. Oh, she's so unlikable. She's extremely. Unlikable. I really liked her. <laughs> it's interesting though, because like everyone in this group are like, oh, wow. But then everyone who watches this is like, what the fuck? Right? I put myself six because I feel like I might this be- This was really kind of him. Because in terms of actual IQ score, hopefully I can make it up and everything else. So I did put my- Oh, th wait, did they do different tests? Okay, well, <laughs> that's great if they did. That will tell us more. Uh, my mom always said, you know, if you're not the smartest in the room, you gotta be the best dressed in the room. And you got it, Sean, so don't so, worry about it. Sean was the best dressed by a long <laughs> shot. However, it can't be me. I definitely think Tyler, unfortunately, his way of thinking is linear. And I think intelligence is almost like a sphere. It's a picture. And right now he's only coloring with one color than, you know, with the rainbow. So they all hate him. I think that was like the best quote to describe my experience talking about the trolley problem. I feel like you were definitely three, right? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, between you wherever to I'll yeah. probably put her in three. Thank you. Is anyone upset? With this is a bad standing? question. I think it makes sense that I'm down here. Like the guy who graduated from high school and then joined the military, he probably wouldn't be like high up on there if I was in there. They all criticize his demeanor too, but he took that so well as well. Like what? I don't. I know that's not in his entire demeanor, and they probably cut out a lot. Yeah, I just think they cut out a lot. <laughs> there might be a prejudice acting in terms of ranking you. Okay, I was thinking that highly. <laughs> Well, you just made it really weird by pointing it out, right? You could have, you all thought he was the smartest. You don't have to point out, but you're Asian and I have to say it and there's a stereo. Like, what? Shut up. I don't get this stuff. Sounds about white. Um, this is where I don't like ever agree with PewDiePie. I think PewDiePie's race rhetoric is pretty problematic. I think that in not acknowledging these dynamics, we would have done a good amount of harm. I think we also called it the dynamics of the military stuff as well, which wasn't included. I think it's important to talk about your biases when ranking people by intelligence, especially because the way we view intelligence is through such a westernized lens. I think that these are important things to say in these conversations, and I think that it's only white people who like don't ever engage with race critically who are like, how dare you? I just want to say that.
I wonder if they knew that they had to take an IQ test after they rated each other, because if they didn't know, this makes this even juicier. We didn't. Uh, at least I'm hoping. I'm hoping for a payoff right now. Number one is Raymond. Number two would be Kaylee. Number three will be Tyler. I also want to say that I called this order in advance. I, I called it. So there's a lot of things that go into IQ tests, but when they gave us the IQ test we were taking, I was immediately like, oh, this is kind of bullshit. So we took like a free IQ test.com test. I can post the one we took right here right now. Um, it obviously like wasn't legitimate as someone who actually has to have IQ test scores on file for cognitive testing. I know that the score isn't accurate. So I think that was a very interesting dynamic at play. A lot of us talked about IQ tests during the video and that was all cut out. A lot of us talked about the racial element and things like that that go into these social constructions of intelligence. And I think that them cutting that out did a big disservice in like actual education of the video. I think I called the top three. I said that I wouldn't be in the top three and I think I said Ray, Tyler, and Kaylee were going to be. Ray makes sense, he's a consultant. The test is like pretty consultant casing type questions. Kaylee's a coder, that makes sense. It's like coding tests. Tyler recently took the ASVAB, the tests line up pretty similarly. I just think that this is a really weird space. I also think it's weird because going in, they knew that I was neurodivergent and knew that I had like learning difficulties and then to have me take a non-real test in a non-testing environment and then present that like fact felt a little f***ed up to me. And number four would be Shada. Number five is Sean. My hair looks really f***ed up here and that's because we were like four hours into this f***ing shoot and I had the worst headache of my life. Oh, she's the dumbest. Holy shit. <laughs> I know it. Let's go. Bah, 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 bah. <laughs> yes. I don't love this like reaction to Maria ranking this low on this <laughs> you're test. Dumb, you're so dumb. You thought you were smart, but you're so smart. I don't so like bad. these look reactions that people have on the internet. <laughs> Yes! Yes! The best payoff! It would be better if I was one minute <laughs> oh. I am very smart. That's usually what we say about people who get caught saying the n-word on the internet. Anyway. <laughs> Let's get it. Let's get the react- I think this was really interesting. I think it's interesting that they didn't tell us that me and Tyler tied. They didn't tell us what people's scores were. And I just think that statistically, these scores are not correct. <laughs> There's no way we've all ranked this highly. It's just not possible. As a funny side note, when I went back to go pull the questions that I couldn't answer, I retook the test and here's my score. So this is what it looks like having one practice round. Uh, seems legit. That's <laughs> what dumb people say. Now known to be flawed. Uh, now they're really flawed and that's why the military guy is uh, better than me, but uh, it's really flawed. That it's comment to me is super interesting because <laughs> I think that most people now know that intelligence isn't like ranked this way. We all talked about it here. And then it's weird that like we get portrayed as like being bitter. Odd and like based on incorrect sample Let's sizes. Let's hear it, red I pen have really girl. Severe dyslexia. Let's hear There's it. There's two questions on that test. Dyslexia. Okay, they are usually uh, reading questions, yes. But yeah, there were two unscrambled letter questions. And like during the test, I was like, I can't do these. Like, there's no way I'm going to do that. You're just making excuses. Okay. You already mentioned it. I basically can't answer. I'm yes, but you can all usually in IQ tests, you can just move on further, right? To the more complicated questions. No, it's fine. That's not how an okay. IQ test works. If you studied for an IQ test, you would do a lot better. Yeah. I That's a good point. Someone did study. That's a good and point. I'm going to. If it's to measure there. your intelligence and you can uh sort of get a sort somewhat of a grasp for how they function you can definitely perform better and if it's supposed to measure your intelligence yeah but then maybe it is a thing where you have to do it a couple and if it's a fake iq test online that you can do in advance you can just memorize the answers and go really quickly times to get a decent accuracy IQ anyway. tests are just one aspect or one way to measure intelligence it's really on a spectrum it's weird that no one reacts to Ray basically saying the same thing that I said. I'm just saying. Sure, oh, is it, it is oh, some type of metric it, similar oh, to an SAT it? and oh, ACT scores and metric yes. for getting into college, but this is so to weird person. to me. Oh, it is, that isn't it? It's so much more. <laughs> There's so much more than every. Ah! <laughs> ah! I'm so What's happy. Last? I think she got such a bad edit. I just think it was a bad edit. Oh, that was amazing. 10 out of 10. So juicy. It tastes so good in belly. I feel so good right now. I think 
this is a pretty fair reaction to be honest. I think that there's obviously a lack of like racial understanding and understanding of some of the systems that go into things like IQ. But I feel like this is a pretty like fair reaction to the video. I think I've seen worse ones and I think I've seen better ones. Honestly, I'm like pretty pleasantly surprised by his reaction to this video. I feel like I view PewDiePie and his followers not in the best light. And I think this video was like pretty fair from how I was coming in expecting to be perceived. I think that the comments are really interesting. I also think that being on the internet more has really exposed me to these weird levels of racism that I didn't have to interact with as much in my daily life. So that's always cool and fun to see. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed. I hope this provided more insight to how the actual filming went down. And feel free to check me out in a bunch of other Jubilee videos and more videos coming soon. So hopefully you'll see more of me on their channel. Um, but if you like this, feel free to like, share, and subscribe. And if not, feel free to leave a rude comment as I'm sure you were planning to anyways. Um, other than that, thanks so much and I'll see you next week.